Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're bringing you guys another episode of Hut Roulette and we just finally hit our 10th episode. So I'm pretty happy about that, but we're going to keep this going. We're going to see how great of a team we can build and so far our team is coming together and if you haven't seen our offense already, here it is. Ryan O'Reilly, Brian Boyle and Patrick Sharp on the first line going down. Mike Fisher, Philpula, Henrik Sedin on the second. Toulouse Shen Hemshi on the third, as well as Purcell, Wilson, and Raymond on the fourth line. And onto the defense here, I rearranged it just a little bit. Ryan McDonough and Petrangelo on the first line, as well as Pecorini and Nett. We got Shattenkirk and Seabrook, as well as Truba and Vishnowski, which I decided to move down. And those guys, I think, will be shipped out very soon in the next few games, but we'll have to see what happens. Anyways, the team is coming together, but I took a look at all your comments. And you guys were saying that the commenting style was good, but you I should have cut it up a little bit more, take out the quiet parts in some of the in some of the commentary, as well as at least two games per episode, which I will do from now on. I I, I will try my best to do two games. But anyways, that is just about it. We're gonna get right into this game, and we're gonna see if we can win. All right, so we found an opponent. As you can see here, he's got Tyler Sagan. Borchek and Jamie Benn, but his guy that showed up before was Sidney Crosby. So we're going to see how hard this opponent is. Come on, let's get a goal right off the bat. And I also turned up the in-game volume so it's not just me clicking. Oh, Brian Boyle stick lift. Keep it going, keep it going. Shoot! Oh, Patrick Sharp. We're getting some offensive pressure right off the bat. Come on. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sharp! Oh my goodness, how do you miss an empty net? Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on! Oh no, we just missed the net by a little bit. Come on. Don't let him buy. Don't let him buy. Oh, we're still on the penalty kill right now. We just got a tripping penalty. But let's get around the guy. There it is. In front. Oh no. Who was that? That was, uh, I think it was Braden Shen. Oh, get that in front of the net. We're getting so many chances here. What is going on? Oh, there it is. Go, Hemshki. Go, Hemshki. Spin him. Oh, nice. Nice. There it is. Oh, Colin Wilson. We're getting so many opportunities here. The great thing about our team right now is that our offense or our defense has really improved drastically. Now that we have all these guys like Petrangelo and Seabrook, uh, we can put up against those people that do have people like Sidney Crosby and Gretzky. Come on, let's cycle, let's cycle a little bit there in front of the net. Oh, uh, come on, there we go. Nice stick lift by Petrangelo. Out front, Sidine. Oh, on top of the net. Come on. Oh, Patrick Sharp, lay one out. Crossbar and in. That's what I'm talking about. Brian Boyle once again setting up that play and picking up a point. And Sharp makes no mistake and just rifles it. Sharp is not too bad of a player. I like him. All right, guys. So that is the end of the first period. And the two players I saw on his team that were his highest overall were Gretzky and uh, Crosby. So we're doing so we're doing good so far. We just got to keep up some good play and hopefully win. I mean, he still has some solid players. I'm not sure they're team of the years because I also saw Yager. Not many people use Yager nowadays, but if he's boosted up, you never know. Oh, Boyle. See, look at that power. There is no way that you're going to hit him down. That's why I love about Boyle. Back. Oh, oh Ryan O'Reilly. To Boyle. Shoot. Oh, Flurry, Big save. Ryan O'Reilly once again getting a shot. Everybody on this line can score. That's a thing. Oh, just rip it in front of the net. Oh. That's it! No! <laughs> alright, alright. Sadine, in front! Oh, Mike Fisher. Come on, come on, come on. We can keep it going. Back to the point. Point. Fishnovsky, I don't want those guys handling the puck right now. Sadine. Oh, uh, come on, Fisher. Come on. Grab the puck. Grab the puck. Yes! Shoot! Oh, Valtteri Filpula. Just straight across. Just cannot score. Bobby Ryan has the puck. No. 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 Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right. Mason Raymond. No, no, no. Don't let him get the shot on. I think this guy's getting desperate. He doesn't really know exactly what to do with our defense. First of all, that's a goal. Oh, what a save by Flurry. Oh, go Toulouse. Come on, Toulouse. We need you to beat him. Beat, beat Latang. Beat Latang on the outside. Yes, yes. And we're going to cut in. Oh, hopefully that's not a penalty. All right, we got to get... No, okay, that might be a penalty. Jesus. You do that. All right, get back, get back. We're on a penalty kill right now. We don't want him to score a goal. The one thing is, he cannot handle my... Uh oh Flying poke check! Yes! Come on, come on, please, please, please. Get back in net. Please get back in net. Holy crap. We just dodged a bullet on that one. 
Oh, see, this is this is the power of Boyle. That's what I love about him. Taking two guys out. Can he set up a play, though? Sharp. Oh, we almost got around. Boyle. Long stick, long stick. Shoot. Uh, Flurry, another save. Don't let him pass it out. There it is. So six minutes left in the third period still. We got to keep up some good gameplay. Pass it out of Sharp. All right, come on, come on. We can beat him on the outside. My players aren't the fastest. I, I'm pretty sure he has some Team of the Year players in here or something. I cannot really beat him on the outside too well. But Vishnovsky, come on. Stick lift. Grab it. We need the puck right now. We cannot let Yager and Crosby just set up some plays in our zone. All right, Ryan O'Reilly, we're going to sauce it up to Sharp. Quick pass to Boyle. Oh, we're going to let one go with Boyle. Watch this. Yes! I called it. I'm telling you. Boyle has a shot on him, and he's... I don't know what's going on here, but... That was a beautiful goal by Brian Boyle, and he does rage quit. Why? There's only like 50 seconds left, but he does quit. Anyways, we got 16 shots that game. We're going to raise that buy now minimum up to 7,000. Let's see what we get. I'm telling you guys, Boyle is a complete game changer. And as you can see here, we're 6-0-0 in the season, just from playing Hut Roulette mostly. That's all I've been uploading recently, but right now we're going to choose that player, raise that buy now minimum up to 7,000, and then we are going to uh, search up the player. So I think we got 16 shots that game. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter too much if we do mess that up, but we're going to raise that buy now minimum to 7,000. Let's see what we get. Even though our first line is honestly good enough, sharp, Ryan O'Reilly and Boyle is a lethal, lethal uh, attack group for sure. Anyways, buy now range up to 7,000. Let's choose it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Patrick Marlowe is going to be the next pickup. Not too bad of a pickup. We're going to throw him into the team and see where he fits in. Alright guys, so we're just about to start a second game here, but as you guys can see, I moved down Patrick Marlowe to the second line, even though he does have better stats than Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly has been lighting it up alongside with Boyle and Sharp, so I'm not going to change that too much. I kind of want some secondary scoring, and the Filpula and Fisher line has been very quiet, so I decided to throw in some firepower, get Marlowe in there, and move down Hank the Tank to the fourth line. He's not been playing too well for me, and I'd rather have him in some defensive zone areas where uh, uh, he can definitely do some penalty killing or something along the lines of that. Anyways, that is about it. We're going to start up the second game here. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we're starting up this next game. He's got Stamkos, Tavares, and Zetterberg on his first line. He's a Montreal Canadiens fan and has a, has a Canadian jerseys on, which is kind of interesting. But uh, let's get this game going. Let's see if we can uh, get a quick couple goals here. Oh, Phil Pula with a breakaway. Go, go, go. He's gonna. Oh, he's not gonna pull out his goalie. That is a big mistake. One to nothing, and we get a good goal with Phil Pula. I like it. All right, so let's keep keep it going here. It's still really early in the first period, but he's got some very solid players, so I gotta watch out still. Oh, Marlo, Marlo, no. Oh, oh my God, he lays out the goalie. All right, let's not shoot on the net just yet. Just not yet. Back to the point, Shankirk. Oh, Pecorini. He's also got Pecorini in net. It's going to be a battle. Oh, are you serious? Valtteri Filippo is ready to go, and we get a penalty with Brent Seabrook. That really sucks. Anyways, it's still one to nothing. Let's hopefully not lose a goal here. Oh, go, Wilson. Come on, you got him beat. You got him beat. Come on. Outside, we're going to swing around the net. No, he's got me, he's got me beat. He's got me taken. Bring it back down low. Wilson, poke. There it is. Wilson still got the fuck. Come on. Solid play. Solid play. He's burning off some penalty minutes. Toulouse takes over. Come on. Oh, there it is. In front, in front, in front, in front, in front. Oh, nice play by Colin Wilson and Toulouse on that one. All right, Boyle, come on. Let's see if we can get one more slapper like last time. One more slapper. Oh, last second chance, but we could not tuck one in. We're facing this guy named Heisenberg, 7992. All right, anyways, we're going to keep going. Let's take a look at the stats here and see how we're doing. 6-2 to two in shots, 2 minutes 40, time on attack to 350. Not playing a bad game, just got to get a couple more goals here. Oh my goodness, that was a very dangerous play. Jesus, off the boards, come on. Petrangelo to Filipula. Pass it over to Fisher, come on. All right, watch this, guys, watch this. No, don't watch that, don't watch. That was a very bad play. Seabrook, get back, get back. Oh, and off the crossbar.
Oh, two between the legs. Pass it up. Back to Sharp. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Pecarine with even a bigger save. Come on. Big save by Pecarine. Jesus. Get the fuck out. Stick lift. Oh, no. Come on, come on. We're, we're pinching. We're pinching. Ryan McDonough. Let's go. Good pokes. Good pokes. Good pokes. Keep him out of the net. Keep him off the score sheet. Don't let him get that cross crease. Come on. Shen. Stick lift. Nice. 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 There it is. Poke. Oh, there's a breakaway. Deke. Deke. Oh, beautiful. Shen. All by himself on a short-handed play. And he does score a goal. That was beautiful. Just absolutely turning his defense inside out. He's going to watch that as well. That was beautiful. Through the legs of Petrangelo. Back around. And then a backhand. Can't stop that. You can't stop the land when he's on fire. Filpula! Oh, what a shot. Just cannot get that one in. We're getting some real good pressure even when we're shorthanded. Alright, come on, come on. Don't let him through. Don't let him into the offensive zone at all. He's got some really good firepower. I just do not want to get, like, Stamkos give him a shot because, you know, those will go in. Come on, chase it down, Filpula. Chase it down. Hit down Johnson. Yes. In front. Marlo. Oh, almost getting a debut goal. Come on. Get the shed out. Get the shed out for Pecorini. And that means we're also going to put a plus five all on him. Not an easy game, but still, we're, we came out with the win. And that's all that matters. 14-11 shots. Look at the time on attack. It's pretty much even. Not too bad of a game. And the three stars is Braden Shen. Valtteri Filpula and of course Pecorini with a flawless game. Anyways, we're going to get into choosing that player. Let's see what we get. Alright, so let's search for the 14th player. But before we do that, we got to raise that buy now minimum all the way to 8,000 because we're on an 8-game win streak. That's pretty crazy. I didn't think we would uh, get an 8-game win streak this early, but this does help out our team by quite a bit. So let's search for the player and hopefully we get something good. So the 14th one, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Tyler Sagan is going to be our next pickup. 88 overall. Definitely not a bad player. Uh, I've never actually tried him out this year, but we'll definitely have to see how he plays. Alright, so I changed the team by quite a bit. So, I'm going to show you what changes I did. But, as you can see here, I put in Tyler Sagan into the second line. I have never played with him, so I'm going to hope that he's good, but I put him on the second line with Hemschke because it does give me a little bit more chemistry, as well as moving down Valtteri Filpula to the third line, taking out uh, Mason Raymond and putting in Colin Wilson into the fourth line left wing spot, moving down Mike Fisher to the fourth line, which also gives a little bit of chemistry, and he is playing alongside with Hank the Tank, which I guess is not too bad. Anyways, that is about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Two games per episode I will try to do for the next one as well. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy, leave it a like. It does mean a lot if you do like it. I will try to post out as much hut roulette as possible before the end of this year. So anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, nice deep, nice deep, nice deep to Fisher. One more backhand. No. All right, what we're going to do, pass it down low. Don't feel like getting interfered right there. Come on, poke it. That's us, that's us, that's us. Shoot. Oh, big save by whoever he has in that. Is that Clemenson? Oh, there's another one.